Hi friends! Today let me show you how to make this easy yet stunning hat using the plant pulling method. This hat comes in all sizes ranging from toddler all the way up to adult sizes. To begin this tutorial and if you've never done plant pulling before, I would strongly advise you to head on over to my plant pulling tutorial which I've placed a link right here at the top and also in the description box below. Now for this project, I'm using Cascade Fixation Spray Dyed Yarn in the color Tequila Sunrise. This yarn is a blend of cotton and spandex, just to keep that in mind. I'm also using a 3.5mm crochet hook, and you'll also need a tapestry needle to sew the sides together. Once you've already made a color swatch and have determined the number of stitches per color, go ahead and work a slip knot and chain 57. I'm making a medium adult size hat for reference and you can get all the other sizes in the link below. For this pattern, we'll be working on the height first. Once you've completed all your chains, continue to chain until you have a new color on your hook. And don't forget to count the number of extra chains that you've just made. So here, I've made an extra 9 more chains and now I have a new color change on my hook. I will now count 9 chains from the bottom of the chain row and place a stitch marker on that 9th chain. But remember, my extra number of chains will not necessarily be the same as yours. Now let's proceed to the next row. We'll be working half double crochet stitches throughout this project. So let's first chain 1 to start the next row and make sure to adjust your turning chain so it does not affect the count of your next stitch. So you'll yarn over, you'll insert your hook through the second chain from your hook, drop a loop, yarn over, pull through all loops. We'll continue to half double crochet each chain while ensuring that each color matches our swatch. For me, I should have three reds three oranges six yellows three oranges three red and seven purple stitches so I have six color changes before I go back to the beginning of the first color sequence. So you will continue to count each group color while ensuring that each stitch matches your swatch. You'll continue to do this until you've reached the stitch marker. Once you've reached the stitch marker, your first row should match your color chart. As for the remaining chains, you can go ahead and open them up. Now we'll continue to work our way up while counting each stitch, making sure that each color group always stays the same. You may need to make tighter or looser stitches depending on the outcome of your yarn. On the next row, you'll chain one and adjust your tension accordingly and continue to work half double crochet stitches on each stitch for as many rows needed for the circumference of your head. I'll be making a total of 68 rows for reference. If you need to add a new skein to your project, let me show you how to do it seamlessly. Firstly, look at your remaining yarn and see what the next color change is. For me, yellow is my last color change, so I'll grab my new skein and find the yellow on my yarn. Make sure it's also in the right sequence. Once I have my color in place, I'll open up my stitches until just before the next color change and I'll drop the new yarn right at the beginning of the new color to close up that stitch. And if you have to, go ahead and adjust the yarn just so that it meets at the next color change. And then from here, I'll just continue my work as normal and you can also work around the tail so you don't have to weave them in later. So I've just finished all my rows and look how pretty this argyle pattern turned out. Before stitching the sides together, do not bind off just yet. You can also test them on yourself to ensure that the width isn't too loose or too tight. Now this pattern does not have a right side or a wrong side, so go ahead and fold the panel in half widthwise and prepare to stitch them together. 
We'll be working single crochet stitches on each stitch of both panels together all the way across. So go ahead and insert your hook into that first stitch and you'll pick up the loop. Drop the loop and chain one to secure. Now you'll just insert your hook into the second stitch of the front and back panel and work single crochet stitches. You'll continue working single crochet stitches all the way across and I'll meet you at the end but do not bind off just yet. Once you've completed all your stitches, bind off and leave a tail long enough to close up the top of the hat. Now we'll take a tapestry needle and thread the yarn through and we'll weave through the top in the round twice. And we'll do this while pulling it tightly to close. And once you're all done, just weave in the ends and bind off. This is how your top should look like and the back should look like this. And there you go, you've just completed your hat. And to top it all off, no pun intended, we'll just add a little pom-pom to finish off the look. So I've just made a really quick pom-pom and if you'd like, I place a tutorial on how to make pom-poms in a link up here and also in the description box below. And if you decide to add a pom-pom to your hat, all you gotta do is basically leave a long tail to the pom-pom that you just made, thread it through a tapestry needle, pull the two strands in through the top of the hat, And from the inside, you'll tie two knots. You'll insert both yarns into your tapestry needle to weave in the ends. Bind off and voila! You're done with your Argal Plan Pulling Crochet Hat. I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and if you have any questions about this pattern, do let me know in the comment section below and I would really appreciate it if you would give me a thumbs up and to subscribe to my channel so I can make more fun and free patterns for you. I hope to see you real soon. Bye for now.